The Inca Empire didn't emerge overnight. It rose out of centuries of Andean civilizations that came before. Cultures like the Shavin, Mochi, Wari, and Tiwanaku, each adding pieces to the puzzle that the Inca would one day perfect. What made the Inca different was not that they started from nothing, but that they learned from everything. They appeared in the 13th century in the Valley of Cusco, in what is now southern Peru. According to legend, their founders, Manco Capac and Mama Okio, were children of the sun god, sent to bring civilization to the highlands. Mythical origins aside, what they built was real and unlike anything in the Americas. The Inca were engineers of impossible places. They didn't just survive in the Andes, they dominated them. Their road system, the Capac Nyang, stretched more than 25,000 miles. These were not flat highways. They crossed peaks at 16,000 feet, cut through the jungle, and bridged rivers with woven grass cables. One rope bridge in use for over 500 years was only retired in the 21st century. No wheels, no horses, no metal tools. Yet the Inca connected an empire that stretched from modern-day Chile to Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and Argentina on foot 